Good afternoon. Good afternoon. There you are. I'm happy. I'm happy fooling you. No, no, I'm not fooling you. I am fooling you. Oh, you got me wrong again. No, no, what I mean is, I am happy. And I'm fooling you. You know why I decided to call myself happy? Because Bertrand Russell said, not me of course, a good life as I conceive it is a happy life. Not that if you're good you'll be happy, but if you're happy, you'll be good. So I decided, happy! Yeah! That's so easy, I can't see the slides, so I'll have to go this way. I'm happy. How did happy come to be? It was not that one day my mama was making some omelets. It raise the game a little bit, please. Yeah. She cracked an egg. Boom. Hey, we got happy. It didn't happen that way. It didn't happen that my dad was reading something. He found a red nose. Go. Clap. No. It was a tragic incident of a death of a five-year-old cancer patient whose one wish was to meet a joker. In India, we call them jokers. They're clowns. Fortunately, unfortunately, I was that clown who met him a couple of days later. He passed away and that day I made a big decision in my life. Quit the Navy after 17 and a half years of service. Two and a half years to go for my lifelong pension. ECHS, OROP, what not? I said, no, I don't want that. I want to be a clown, I want to spread happiness. And that's how happy we came. <laughs> what is happiness to be? A big question, right? Most of us conceive, perceive our life to be like that. A black, dark box. And every management guru worth his salt, every mental worth his salt will tell you, think out of the box. But tell me, where is the box? This is the box. This is you. This was I. But inside was something of interest. Simple, right? All of us within us have happiness. The best part is both are identical. They fill you up. But this is not happiness. The real happiness is here. This is also not happiness. The real happiness is when you take that silly black box you trusted to be you and you put it right inside that and bring out your happiness to encompass it totally. That is happiness. That is you. You manifest happiness. You feel now you are happy. Are you with me? Let me see where have I reached. Ah, that was it. Right, bright, smile. That's what we did. We looked within ourselves. You look outside, you'll not find it. You've got to look within yourself for that. Ha! Ah, one of my favorites. You know what this means? Little play of word, internal, eternal. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Don't stop breathing. Yeah, of course, very important. Da, 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 da. <laughs> a clown goes to school, a clown goes to office, a clown goes everywhere he wants. But what happens is, where do you do that? Look inwards and you shall find it. Not a telescope to look outside. Doesn't make sense, right? Ah. When you do this exactly, what are you doing? Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. Inside lies the happiness. And that's what 
you need to bring out. How? Very, very simple. Reach in and pick out something outrageously large. Yeah. And pull out your happiness. Just like that. It's very simple. See that? That's it. No one. Hey, where did you go? It happens so often to me. You got to think inside, find the little things that make you happy and go about it. What are the little things that make you happy? It's very simple. If you look, you'll find some more. It's yeah, it happens so often. You fill yourself with happiness. You're overflowing with joy. Now what do you do? Share it. Give it to us. So every time I'm going to pour it inside that, it really doesn't make sense. So go somewhere, find someone who needs a little happiness. Give, share your happiness to the plant. If you got some more, give it to somebody else. There is no problem with that. Nobody says no to the happiness that is shared here and there. It comes free. You got it free. That's the type of happiness I like to share. I go to the hospital. I never ask my friends there, how are you? How silly would that be? Because if he was good or she was good, he would not be there. I never say bye, see you again. I don't want to see them again there. I would rather see them in a theater, a playground, somewhere else. Right? I'd rather ask them, why did the doctor call you here? What's wrong with him? Yeah, that gets a small laugh at times. Street children, distributing balloons, candies, biscuits, no money. I'm a very stingy fellow. Blood donation. The best thing that you can give. Blood platelets you can give every 15 days. If you don't know all of you are 18 and above, Tortilla is not there. Okay. <laughs> 18 and above, every 15 days, a healthy person can donate platelets. I have more than 250 platelet donations to my credit. Go ahead. Do it. Save lives. Now come to this brass tax. No one owes you your happiness. Not your dad, not your mom, not your grandparents. Never. They owe you education. They owe you a good upbringing. But your happiness, you got to find yourself. Start giving and you'll receive. I'm not preaching, I'm just sharing. Simple example. How many of you travel by a car, train, bus or a flight? Almost all. When you enter the flight, there's a tab guy there who's tearing off the tabs and giving you a part, keeping a counterpart of himself, right? Have you ever bothered to say thank you to him? You don't exist. He doesn't exist. He's only looking at that. Next time you cross him, just say thank you or have a good morning and see the reaction. Him, the air hostess, the person, Anybody. We drive in cars, swanky cars. We do the hotel, hand out the key to the valet. He does his job, keeps it there. We do our job, come back. He comes back with your car. You look here and there. Why should I pay him for my car? It's my car. He's getting paid for his job, right? But you, you have to pay. So if you put your hand in your pocket, take out the dirtiest, filthiest, crumbled note that you can find. 10 rupee pearls. Sheepishly look at him and he also grabs it, puts it in his pocket. As soon as you're three feet away, he sees it. I stopped doing that about a decade ago. And I realized I'm insulting him by giving that 10, 20, 50 rupees. And I told him I'm a very stingy person. But I still need it to make him happy. So what do I do? I carry chocolates in my bag. Some people here know it. A 10 rupee chocolate given officially in front of everybody to him 
and see the smile it brings on his face. The person who comes to serve you at the table, you can keep amount of money in the wallet there. But keep a small chocolate there and see how the news spreads. Take that table, go and serve him, he gives you a chocolate. Happiness. Share it. Give it. It's fantastic. And it's small measures that we need to look at. You cannot eat the entire paratha in one go, can you? Some of you pronounce yeah. <laughs> I can't. I got a big tummy by the way, small mouth. I mean, I talk loud, but well, yeah. So it's difficult to eat everything together and of course digest it also. So what do you do? You break it up into small morsels. Similarly, I would suggest seek happiness in small things. Give, give and give more. Because the technical guys that you are, you will understand the next phrase better than I do perhaps. Not this one. No, not this one. That's my kids. They come to small happiness. My group of friends, we spread happiness gradually. Another group of friends. That's what I was talking about. The technical guys will understand. The entire picture was not painted in a day or together. It was the small pixels, the small dots that make up the whole picture. And that is what you are looking at me or I am looking at you right now. The big thing together here. Share it with as many people as you can. Wherever you can. Cancer patients. Some more unfortunate people. This is interesting. Why do I come to this? I'm not telling you about mythology or anything. But I firmly believe in this. Amen. So be it. Tathastu, Ami. I believe there is somebody, angel or whatever, sitting on my shoulder, right and left both. And the only job that, I'll say idiot, has is to say, Ami, Amen, Tathastu, so be it. And with that background, all you can expect is whatever thoughts you manifest within yourselves will come true. Think good, think big. Think caring and sharing, and that gentleman has got no other word to say but the thrust. It comes true. <laughs> share it. There's a, there's a silly joke uh, from the forces. I want to share it here. I have time? Yeah, I do have time. Uh, there used to be a general. Every time somebody saluted him, he used to return the salute and say, Same to you. Same to you. Not the thrust, same to you. So somebody once asked him, General, why do you say same to you? Same to you. He says, I know nine out of these ten people are cursing me when they salute me. They don't like me anyway. So if they say whatever they want to say, I just say same to you. Goes back to them, right? It's so simple, it's so simple. This theory actually works. Try it. Uh, for my young friends, I'm old, I would suggest something. Start by making your bed in the morning. Just fold your bed sheet, fluff out your pillow and put it in the place. Don't wait for mama to remove those figure of eight trousers, undies, shorts and everything lying there. Please pick it up and put it in the wash basket. Makes mama's job easy. She'll be happy. India we have maids at home, right? And for us they are almost invisible. They give you a cup of tea, nasta, whatever. We never say thank you to them. Try and say thank you to them. Try and say thank you to the invisible elevator operator that you meet every time. The bus conductor that is giving you the ticket. Just say thank you to him. A shopkeeper. Just say thank you to him and see the reaction and see the smile it gives on his face and how it comes back to you. It's very simple. Just, I got to get back to the base. Keep your minds wide open. Listen, say thank you. It's a very big thing to do. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for something interesting? Yes. I can't hear you. The dozing for us. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Now I can. Okay, so I've got something called a happy song. 
He happy song. Is it there? Oh no, it's not there yet. I always keep this as a standby because I do forget at times what is the clue. So, happy song. Okay, I want to make a deal with you. Are you ready for that? Yes. 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 Now, don't shout so much. They'll not allow me next lecture. Okay, so, the slide comes. I say it and we say it. Not you, we. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. You're getting the hang of it now. Okay. So don't say anything right now. You just read the slide. Ha! It says, the time to be happy is now. The time to be happy is now. The next one says, the place to be happy is here. Careful now. And the way to be happy. And the way to be happy. I can't hear you. And the way to be happy. Is to make someone happy. To make someone happy. Say again. To make someone happy. And make your little heaven. And make your little heaven. Right here. Right here. So let's go. The time to be happy is now. The time to be happy is now. The place to be happy is here. The place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy, to be happy is to make someone happy. To make someone happy. And, and make your, make your little, little, little heaven. You said it. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day to be with you. Happy, 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 happ